I'm Miss Briggs, and I'm the Head of Science, so I'm just going to let you know about how Science GCSE will work. So you already have started your GCSE Science in Year 9, but you'll currently have one teacher who's going to cover three subjects with you. As you move into Year 10, we'll actually split you into mixed groups, so you'll no longer be with your tutor group, and you will now be having a separate teacher for Biology, Chemistry and Physics. There's two options that we'll look to move into in year 10. So either you will do the combined science course, which is what most people do, whether here or in the UK, and you will get two GCSEs for three sciences. So you still study biology, chemistry and physics, but you will only get two GCSEs for those. So all your three exams um, for those three subjects get put together, and so you come out with two grades, and they could be 9-9, or 9.8 or 9.7 or 8.7, so they keep kind of going down together based on how you do across your three exams. Now, if you are really keen on science um, and you want to challenge yourself to do separate science, that's where you will get a separate grade for biology, chemistry and physics, so you'll end up with three GCSEs. So obviously extra GCSE means you have to do more work, so there's more topics involved, and so it's only really a good option if you're really super keen on science, if you're maybe thinking of A-levels in these subjects or in your future degree or career. So if you want to do separate science, you really need to think carefully about the balance between your other GCSE, whether you will have the time to spend on it, because we are going to be going through really fast. You're going to be covering more content, as I said. So it's not a decision to kind of take lightly. So you really need to think about whether it's what you really want to do. Um, as I said, with combined, that's what most students do, so you can also go on to do all the science A-levels with doing the combined course, and you don't have to worry about this just yet, because it's something we'll look at, and look at how you're getting on in year 9, and we can help make that decision in year 10, um, and you can give us some input, and we'll also advise you what we think is the best route for you.